Wallahi, brothers and sisters, Allah will forgive everything, everything that you have done. But you have to return. You have to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not despair and think that I have done so much sins that I can't take it anymore. And now I'm, I'm buried in my sins. Sometimes people leave it like that and they continue to drown themselves, drown themselves, drown themselves in sins. And they think, I've done so many sins that I'm from the people of hell anyway. So I'm just going to keep doing more sins. Wallahi, this leads to the worst situation. The worst situation that this will lead you to. Do not despair on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah's mercy, my brothers and sisters, is open. It is wide. It, is, it encompasses everything. Everything, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the... One of the stories, my brothers and sisters, that has touched my heart when I heard about this story was the story of a young boy and his father who was a sheikh. And this young boy and his father used to every week, they would go and hand out uh, booklets, Islamic booklets, as dawah, calling people to the right path, trying to give them advice. And the boy was 12 years of age. And then this weekend that, that came, it was freezing cold. The rain started to come down. And the young boy got all his clothes on and he got his jacket on. And he went to his father and he said to his father, I'm ready to go, father. His father said, ready to go where? He said, I'm ready to go and hand out the books. But his father said, son, I'm not going to go this week. It's too cold. It's, it's, it's raining, son. But the son, he said, father, we must go. We must still do it. There's still people walking in the street, Father. We must go and do it. The Father, he said, Son, it's cold. I don't want to go this week. I want to take a rest. It's too cold. And then the Son, he said, Father, we must do it. And then he said, Father, will you let me go by myself and do it? So his father agreed and let him go by himself. The boy went downstairs and he began to hand out leaflets, walking through the streets handing out leaflets. The rain started to pour down, to come down so hard, but he kept the leaflets in his plastic bag, handing them out to people. But now there was only one leaflet left, one dawah pamphlet left. And he wanted to give it. He wanted to accomplish his mission, but he couldn't find anyone now because now the streets were starting to get flooded. The rain was pouring down. It was freezing cold. So he looked where he could go to give this, this last pamphlet. He went to, the, to, to a house, he saw a house and he went to the door and he began to knock on this door. He knocked once, he knocked twice, he began to push the button. He, says, he said in his story, he said that he didn't know why he stayed there, but he continued to stay there to, to continue. And he kept pushing the buzzer, pushing and pushing the buzzer until eventually until eventually a woman opened the door who was crying. A woman opened the door who was crying and the little boy smiled at her and said, Allah loves you. I'm sorry that I have annoyed you. Allah loves you and he is your caretaker. He is the one who will take care of you and he has brought you this book. And he gave the book to this woman and then he went home. The very next week, the very next Jummah, in the Jummah prayer, the Imam gave the khutbah and after the khutbah, uh, he asked the people, is there anything that you have? Because uh, he asked, allow people to do fatwa. And one person started to speak from up the back of the mosque, in the women's section. And it was a lady. And she said, yes, I have something to say. I'm not, she, was, she said, I was not a Muslim. A few months ago, my husband died. And since then I have been so sad. I have cried every day. In fact, I think I thought it was the end. I gave up. And then last week I got a ladder and I got a rope and I tied the rope to the, to the top of the house and I made a noose and I got a ladder and I began to climb up the ladder. And I put the rope around my neck and I had given up. I had just given up and I was ready to give in. And then I heard this, this buzzer. This, I heard the door knocking and buzzing. 
at first I didn't think of doing anything. But then it kept buzzing and buzzing and buzzing. And it was annoying, so I thought, I will go down and see who it is. Who could it be in this rain? In this rain, who could it be? So she took the noose off her neck. She was about to kill herself. She took the noose off her neck and went down, went down to the gate. And she said she opened the door and she saw a little boy. <laughs> she said she saw a little boy standing there with a smile like an angel that she had never seen before. And he said to her, he said to her that Allah loves you and he is here to take care of you. Allah loves you and he is here to take care of you. And I'm sorry to bother you, but he has brought you this book. And wallahi, she said that she went home and she went inside and began to read the book. To read the book about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And she said after reading the book that she, that she completely now disregarded the idea of killing herself. And then she continued to read more about the book, more about the Islam, until she got more booklets on Islam. And then she became a Muslim. And now she is in the mosque. Now she is in the masjid, praying with the jama'ah on the Friday. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, do not despair on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not despair on Allah's mercy. Do not despair on Allah's mercy, my brothers and sisters. Allah loves you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. And He wants you to return to Him. Do not be of those who become lost. Those who are lost along the way.